All right, so now for the moment of truth, I'm going to test my uh, super glue adhere device um, for any leaks. So what I've done is punched a uh, one size larger, which is a 14 gauge lure. This is a 15 gauge lure here. This is what I use to punch the holes. And so the green guy is one size larger. Um, and he provides a very nice fit into the outlet hole there. And so I'm going to take my handy little syringe here. I have some uh, colored water. Suck a little bit of this murky water, murky red water up into here. Um, this guy's gonna, this syringe is going to fit perfectly into the end of this device here. So push it in there relatively uh, firmly. And then I'm going to push down uh, pretty slowly um, in order to not really do anything bad and so as you see this guy doesn't work I've got a big old leak over here so my super glue adhesion has not been perfected yet however let's come over here to the uh, outlet and see if the outlet works a little bit better And so a lot of it is heading through the device, but as you can see, there's a large crack, um, a large leak in the back of the device as well. So this super glue method has yet to be perfected, but I really want it to be able to work because um, it'll cut the process of this entire, uh, cut the cost of this entire process in half. So if any of you nerds out there, can find a way to make this work I will be indebted to you forever and myself and the Vanderbilt Institute for Integrative Biosystems Research and Education uh, will be very thankful but like I said I will soon post a video um, using the plasma wand technique which is uh, pretty much uh, completely perfected at this point and provides a very solid um, adhesion of your device to the microscope slide. But if you're going to go out and buy a plasma wand that puts the cost of this entire process at slightly over $400. However, that $400 um, is really just an upfront cost because after you've made all those purchases, you're only paying for um, any more printed circuit boards that you're buying, which only costs about 5 or $6. And then you're... Uh, going to have to pay for new um, p a new PDMS kit, which is relatively expensive, but you should need to buy more PDMS um, more than once every 30 or 40 devices you make. So um, I hope all you guys have enjoyed this, and uh, peace.